Hello students, this video is for chapter 3, part 1, Health and Diseases. So in this video, we are going to learn about what is nutrition, what is malnutrition, what are the diseases, what are the deficiency diseases and different types of deficiency diseases. So these are the topics which we are going to cover in this video. If we ask to today's kids about the food that they like, most of the answers will be Maggi, Pasta and these kinds of food. Also, we have seen the mother forcefully giving the vegetables to the kid and the kids are denying that. But the food that we eat directly impact on our health. And it should have all the nutrients in it. The food having all the nutrients can give us energy. As food and nutrition are the way that we get energy. And we need to replace the nutrients in our bodies with a new supply every day. As our body cannot work without energy. So here we will learn about the nutrition. What is nutrition? Nutrition is the process by which living beings receive the food necessary to be healthy and to grow. It is also defined as the process by which an animal or plant or the living organism takes in and utilizes food substances. As we have already read in our previous chapter that our body cannot absorb the food directly. The food we eat should be broken into the nutrients and then only our body can absorb those nutrients and produce energy. So, what are those nutrients? So, the essential nutrients include protein, carbohydrate, fat, vitamins, minerals and electrolytes. Now, normally 85% of daily energy use is from fat and carbohydrates. That means fat and carbohydrates fulfill the 85% of the energy and rest 15% is from protein. Now, right quantity of nutrients helps us to prevent diseases. If we will not have these nutrients in right amount in our food, we can go through the severe deficiency diseases. So, prevent those diseases we have to eat the food which has all the nutrients in right amount. And that kind of food is called balanced diet. As we already discussed, the foods that we choose to eat have a direct impact on our health. Also, diet plays a major role in promoting and maintaining good health, preventing some chronic diseases and treating others and speeding recovery from injuries. So for this purpose, we should have the balanced diet, which have all the nutrients in right amount. Now in earlier time, diseases such as goiter and pellagra were relatively common. Both are caused by nutritional deficiencies. That means they are deficiency diseases and cured by diets containing Sufficient amounts of a particular nutrients. Now in the case of goiter, iodine is the missing nutrient. That means the cause of goiter is deficiency of iodine in our food. Now with pellagra it is mainly niacin or B vitamin. Now these diseases are rare today if we talk about the United States. Because most of the Americans get enough of these essential nutrients in their diets. 
so these diseases are uh, not having that much of impact and cannot be seen in uh, united states these days now what is malnutrition malnutrition is a condition in which a person does not get the required amount of nutrients it ultimately leads to various deficiency diseases it is a condition that results from eating a diet in which one or more nutrients are either not enough or are too much such that the diet causes health problems so it should not be more or it should not be less so we should have the right amount of nutrient in our food and if we are not getting that we can face the problem of malnutrition we can go to the condition of malnutrition here you can see a child suffering from marasmus which is also a deficiency disease and we will learn about that further in simple words if we say malnutrition is lack of sufficient nutrients in the body it occurs when the body doesn't get enough nutrients and it can be caused by a poor diet digestive conditions or another disease what are the symptoms so symptoms are fatigue dizziness and weight loss untreated malnutrition can cause physical or mental disability so what is the treatment for malnutrition it can be treated by replacing missing nutrients that means we have to fulfill the requirement of the missing nutrients so uh, the food which is rich in those missing nutrients should be eaten and here in the picture you can see the pathetic condition of the child because of the malnutrition so kids you should eat the food which have all the nutrients in right amount now we'll read about what is disease a disease is a condition where the mind or the body is not able to function properly that means disability of any body part here in the picture you can see the names of many diseases like cancer malaria polio influenza and many different diseases we have here we will learn about the deficiency diseases so diseases which are caused due to the lack of balanced diet which does not contain sufficient nutrients like carbohydrates proteins vitamins and minerals are called deficiency diseases here in the chart we will learn about some of the deficiency diseases like the first we have vitamin a so with the deficiency of vitamin a we can have loss of vision so what can be the symptoms poor vision loss of vision in darkness that means night sometimes complete loss of vision can be seen now in the case of deficiency of vitamin b1 we can have beri beri in this weak muscles and very little energy to work can be seen now we have vitamin c with the deficiency of vitamin c we can have scurvy now in this we can see bleeding gums wounds take longer time to heal now with the deficiency of vitamin d we can have rickets so bones become soft and bent in this uh, deficiency disease now with the deficiency of calcium we can have bone and tooth decay and the symptoms are weak bones tooth decay now with the deficiency of iodine we can have goiter and the symptoms are glands in the neck appear swollen mental disability in the children 
with the deficiency of iron we can have anemia and the symptom is weakness so these are some of the deficiency disease and to prevent this deficiency disease we should have the balanced diet the food which have all the nutrients in right amount here we will learn about three deficiency diseases first is marasmus then we have anemia and scurvy so first we'll start with marasmus this disease is caused by the deficiency of proteins fats and carbohydrates in the food items a diet rich in all these nutrients is essential to recover from this disease foods rich in proteins such as skimmed milk fish eggs and nuts are ideal for energy and growth so if we take this kind of food we can prevent the cause of marasmus here in the picture you can see the child suffering from marasmus what are the symptoms and signs the symptoms are weight loss dehydration chronic diarrhea stomach shrinkage and the kid uh, the appearance of the kid will be sunken eyes and the poor growth of the body also thin and bony face ribs clearly visible through the skin so these kind of symptoms and signs are there of marasmus next we have anemia now in this disease less hemoglobin is produced in the blood it leads to the formation of dark circles around the eyes a pale face tiredness loss of appetite that means you will not feel like eating you will not feel hungry and loss of weight now the patient should be given a diet rich in eggs pulses cereals green vegetables and fruits now here in the picture you can see the blood cells of a normal person and if a person is having anemia this will be the condition of the hemoglobin in the blood next we have scurvy this disease is caused by the deficiency of vitamin c and it results in the swelling and bleeding of the gums as well as extreme dryness of the skin it can be cured by eating more citrus fruits like oranges lemon and tomato so these uh, kind of fruits can prevent the uh, deficiency disease which is scurvy now in the book you have a question what is progeria so progeria is a rare genetic condition that causes a person to age prematurely children with progeria appear healthy but after the age of 2 years they look as if they have become old too fast there are different types of progeria but the classic type is known as hutchinson gilford progeria syndrome that is hgps now if you would have seen the movie pa you would have seen this disease also you can see here in the picture this is the condition of the child in the disease progeria i hope you all understood all the topics taught in the video any questions and queries will be resolved in the online classes thank you students